Howdy everyone. Still walking through Southern California. We're about mile 460. We passed the 450, 450 mile marker earlier today, right before going into a small town called Agua Dulce or something else. I can't pronounce it. It's been a while since I've made one of these videos. We had a bit of a kerfuffle, a bit of a problem on top of a mountain. A long story short is we were on top of, I want to say Mount Taft, but I know that's not the correct name. I also want to say Mount, Mount Buchanan, but I know it's not the correct name. One of those presidential sounding mountains. And we, lots of snow fields. I've got some pictures up there that I'll probably be posting as well as this video. So check them out on my Instagram feed, I guess, at Walk North Don't Die Insta to see the top of the mountain. Regardless, there was an absolute ton of snow fields with a lot of difficulty finding our way, figuring out where the trail was under the snow. Despite the fact it's June, we had our first snow-related incident, that being I was walking along and Pops was walking immediately behind me, probably five or six steps, and I heard an oof. So I turned around to see what had happened, and he was already 15 feet down the slope and picking up speed. He fell while we were crossing a snowfield and slid down it at probably a well, it was very steep, very quick slide, probably 35, 40 feet down. He jammed his trekking pole into the snow to self-arrest, and it snapped, but thankfully gave him just enough stopping power to keep himself from sliding too much further down the mountain. During all this, he also lost his tent poles, which we did not realize until later that night. So, the next day, we were walking down the road, having called Big Agnes, the company that makes his tent, and ordering new tent poles. And a gentleman pulled up next to us and asked us if we wanted a ride to the trailhead, which is, you know, four miles down the road. Incidentally, we were skipping around a mile, of, eh, five, six miles of trail, specifically because the trail was closed due to an endangered species, a yellow-backed mountain frog, specifically. So the trail was closed, we were walking around along the road. A guy came and picked us up, and we, between the three of us, managed to get titanically lost on these little back roads going through this uh, forest here. And we ended up all the way down in LA due to some unfortunate detours. Pops ended up driving the gentleman's car because, you know, he was an older guy and he was getting tired and I know I don't want to drive on LA freeway traffic ever. He did very well for himself, but we ended up at the Acton KOA days and days earlier than we anticipated, which is where all of our packages were getting shipped to. So, instead of staying there at $35, $40 a night between the two of us, we opted instead to get back in the gentleman's car and go to a hotel for a couple days and spend the time there, which is our second long hotel stay on this trip so far. More than I would like, but we didn't end up missing too much time at least. We came back to the KOA in time to receive our packages. Pops got his tent poles and replacement trekking poles, his ones from the AT, 
and I got my food drop as well as my new Six Moon Designs Gatewood Cape, which will be replacing my hammock and tarp. <sighs> Probably for a while, at least. I'm very excited about it. It is, as a shelter, both extremely light and durable, about 10 ounces, which is about the same weight as just my tarp. Plus, it will also replace my rain poncho because it's also rain gear. So, a 10 ounce item to replace my one and a half pound total hammock set up with a suspension, my 10 ounce tarp, and probably my 16 ounce rain poncho means I'm dropping about two pounds, two and a half pounds from my pack. At least I will be once I find somewhere to ship those items home from. So that makes me happy. I've discovered that the Gatewood Poncho or uh, Cape is very easy to pitch, very fast. I can put the entire thing up in about five minutes. And I've only done it three times so far. So I'm sure I'll only get faster at pitching as time goes on. Sorry, climbing a mountain. Whew. It's pretty though. So we're about two days outside of Acton, about four and a half miles outside of Agua Dulce. We're doing pretty well for ourselves, all considering. I'll probably check in with you guys later today just because I've been bad at making these videos for the last couple of weeks, or the last couple of days at least, week and a half. Until then, talk to you later.